Good morning, Lewis and Clark Grizzlies. This is Mrs. Gilliam giving our little known black history fact for today. I would like to introduce you to Madam C.J. Walker. She was born Sarah Breedlove on December 23rd, 1867 on a cotton plantation near Delta, Louisiana. Her parents, Owen and Melvina, were enslaved and recently freed. And Sarah, who was their fifth child, was the first in her family to be born free. After her parents' passing, Sarah went to live with her sister and her brother-in-law. At the age of 14, she escaped from her oppression working environment and her frequent mistreatment by her family. Sarah married a man named Moses McWilliams on June 6, 1885. Sarah gave birth to her daughter, Aaliyah. When Moses died two years later, Sarah and Aaliyah moved to St. Louis, where Sarah's brother had established himself as a barber. There, Sarah worked as a washerwoman, earning a dollar and 50 cents a day, enough to send her daughter to a city public school. While in St. Louis, Breedlove met her husband, Charles, C. J. Walker, who worked in, a, in advertising and would later help promote her hair care business. Sarah developed a scalp disorder and caused her to lose much of her hair. And she began to experiment with both home remedies and store-bought hair care treatments in an attempt to improve her condition. Sarah's husband, Charles, helped her create advertisements for her hair care treatment for African Americans. Her husband also encouraged her to use a more recognizable name, Madam C.J. Walker, by which she is known thereafter. She promoted her products by traveling around the country, giving lectures and demonstrating, and eventually, and eventually establishing Madam C.J. Walker Laboratories to manufacture cosmetics, and trained cell beauticians. Her business led her to one of the first, for her to be one of the first African-American women to become a self-made millionaire. She's also known for her philanthropy endeavors, including a donation towards the construction of Indianapolis YMCA in 1913. That is our little known black history fact for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.